what an inspiring day. Just looking out at all of you feeling so alive, especially after doing the yoga this morning and the Zumba over here in magnificent Machika Park in Istanbul, celebrating this very special day dedicated to your wellness and well-being. Many thanks to Belgen Aksoy, the founder of Global Wellness Day, and all of the ambassadors around the world for hosting this phenomenal event, as well as for all of you that have joined in the celebration. Welcome to Global Wellness Day. Global Wellness Day, yay, hosh <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. We've honored many days that celebrate what's important to us, such as Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, and Earth Day. Global Wellness Day also celebrates what's most intimately important to us. This day is dedicated to our health and wellness, to living well, to living a life of wellness and well-being, not only today, but as a reminder of the value of doing so every day of our lives. Today is a celebration and reminder that we have the power to enhance our longevity, wellness and well-being, and transform the health of the world together. Now, we've made great strides on longevity. In 1960, you would have been expected to live until the age of 52. Today, the average global life expectancy is 72 years of age. That's a remarkable increase in 20 years of life. Your commitment to wellness will also ensure that all your years are lived in full vitality. But globally, we still have much work to do. And our joint commitment to wellness is the key. The leading threats to wellness and longevity globally are heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and chronic lung disease, much of which can be prevented by the wellness and lifestyle choices that we make. According to the World Health Organization, many lives are lost each year from an inattention to wellness. Almost six million people die each year from smoking. Over three million people die each year from physical inactivity. Over two and a half million deaths are related to diets low in fruits and vegetables. And over two million people die each year from harmful use of alcohol. And here's why paying attention to your wellness and your lifestyle choices is critically important. Research shows that engaging in wellness activities like quitting smoking, eating a healthier diet, and increasing your physical activity can prevent 80% of heart disease and diabetes and 40% of cancer. But there's still more work to be done. According to the research by the World Health Organization, the greatest threat to global well-being is depression, which is the leading cause of disability affecting more than 350 million people worldwide. Causes of depression include the global epidemic of stress, social isolation, and loneliness. So if you're feeling at all depressed, please know that you are by no means alone. And know that wellness activities can help too. For example, research shows that exercise can decrease your symptoms of depression. The costs of chronic disease and mental health conditions are overwhelming for our families, communities, and global economies. According to the World Economic Forum, these costs are projected to be $47 trillion over the next two decades. Now, to put that into perspective, this is more than 50% of the global GDP projected for this year. But the science on wellness is demonstrating that there is much to hope for. And Global Wellness Day is here to ignite the flame of inspiration in all of us to live healthy, strong, and long lives 
so we can thrive with wellness and well-being. Your commitment to wellness can not only add years to your life and present, prevent disease, suffering, and costs, it can also help you to feel really good every day, to find greater fitness, strength, energy, mental clarity, creativity, joy, fulfillment, and greater vitality in your life. Global Wellness Day has the power to change your life. And if we can all say yes to wellness together, we can transform the world. This day serves as a reminder that no matter where you are, you can find a way to live a healthier life. And that it is your right to do so. You have the power within you. So what I want to share with you today is not only a message of the power of wellness, but also one of wellness empowerment. How you can take steps to become empowered to bring a greater sense of wellness into your life as well as the world around you. I'd like to offer you four steps to empower you to engage in wellness in your life. The first step of wellness empowerment is to know right now that you are in charge of your health and wellness. You are the CEO of your health and well-being. You have the power right now and every day to take control and change your life, to enrich it with greater wellness and well-being. Next, on your second step to wellness empowerment as CEO, you get to define what wellness means to you. You get to define your mission statement for optimal health and wellness. So let me ask you, what does wellness mean to you? Is it merely being free of disease? Or is it something more? Research suggests that our sense of wellness and well-being comes from meeting our basic needs and enjoying what matters most in our lives. This includes enjoying good air, food, water, exercise, rest, and sleep, living in the safety and security within our families, communities, and nations that are built on the foundation of trust, freedom, and justice for all, socially connecting and experiencing a sense of love and belonging in your relationships, connecting with the beauty of nature, spiritually connecting with your deepest source of inspiration, and experiencing the freedom to make choices and fully express yourself both at home and at work in ways that give meaning and purpose to your lives. So does this resonate with what wellness means to you? You can also find inspiration for your definition of wellness from the many organizations that are dedicated to spreading wellness in the world, including the World Health Organization, the Global Wellness Institute, Global Wellness Day, and an organization that I feel blessed to serve, the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine. For example, the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine aligns with the World Health Organization to offer this definition of wellness for your consideration. Optimal health and wellness is the conscious pursuit of the highest level of functioning and balance of your physical, environmental, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual experience, resulting in a dynamic state of being fully alive. With such a definition, you have the power to create a sense of wellness and well-being, regardless of the presence or absence of disease. However you choose to define wellness for yourself, be sure to choose a definition that excites, motivates, and inspires you. Next, as the CEO of your health and well-being, having defined what wellness means to you, your third step of wellness empowerment is to recognize and leverage all of the many helpful resources that are available to support your mission for, of wellness. This may combine both conventional healthcare with complementary approaches, which together is known as integrative health. 
Here you can assemble and engage a comprehensive wellness team to inspire and support your mission for wellness. Your team may consist of your community of healthcare providers, wellness practitioners, trainers, coaches, and partners, and may include members of your family, community, healthcare system, integrative wellness centers, wellness programs at work, as well as health clubs, yoga studios, spas, retreats, and more. In this step, you can also recognize and use the best of what your wellness team